Hey guys, oh man. I, so I got Scentsy Car Bars and I got this black raspberry vanilla. It was way too strong. I've actually moved that into my laundry room with the cat boxes and I have another flavor or scent I wanna put in here, but I keep forgetting. Oh, I did a little no makeup makeup today. I got a little, uh, just got eyelashes, filled in my brows just a teeny bit, a little bit of bronzer and highlight, things that I, and lipstick. Things I forgot to do the other night when I was, um, out an event with with dart and I was so disappointed in myself um, I'm actually on my way to a meeting now um, with my team leader and my EM so we can figure out what exactly they want me to do um, as far as my group supervision um, and what trainings that my team needs to have um, that way I can start my list up um, get my teams going Oh man, I'm super excited. I worked, sorry if my fan is really loud, it's cold. Um, <clears throat> I worked late last night, I worked eight, I worked a double last night, so I'm on my way to get coffee for myself and Shantika. Um, yeah, oh my goodness. Um, this class that I'm in I I didn't think I was gonna struggle and like I thought that I was producing quality content for my my professor and my papers and apparently he does not agree with me that I'm producing quality content I keep getting bees and that's starting to stress me out um, because I worked late last night I did not get a chance to clean my house like I want to so when I get done with my meeting I'm gonna go home I'm going to clean um, and like uh, second glance at my house it's not as dirty as I thought it was like I don't get like dirty dirty but like when I um, work overtime stuff gets left out and I just need to put it away and it's not as messy as I thought it was for whatever reason I thought it was a lot messier so I don't have to do a whole lot of house cleaning today um, and then I can work on my paper while waiting for the kiddo um, and then tomorrow, after I put the kid on the bus, I gotta work on definitely, you know what, I'm gonna, definitely gonna work on my paper. And then um, I have an appointment at the brow bar to get these brows tamed again. I was gonna go to that coffee shop, but I decided that I want food and I don't wanna have to make double stops going to my group. So I'm just gonna go to Ralph's and get some food and they have Starbucks there. So I'll just do that. Um, I usually try to go to mom and pop shops before I go to like Starbucks and stuff, but Ralph's is just a, it's a grocery store and I can get some food. And that will make me happy um, because I need to eat. You ever have a day at work where you're just like, huh? huh. I had one of those days yesterday um, where just, you know, I just wasn't really sure what, where my headspace was. Um, and I was exhausted, but, you know, work is work and I needed to work in a my 16 hours and do that all right you guys so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna get some coffee and then I'll be back back Whew. went to the Starbucks and 
this older couple, you know, was buying some coffee for like their kids or something for Christmas, which is cool. I mean, like if they really like coffee. Um, but then he comes back with the McDonald's cup asking for water. You could have literally just asked for a cup of ice water. You did not have to bring in that McDonald's cup. But whatever. Yeah. Um, I like that place. It can be really pricey because it is not a chain store. But you do get to find some really interesting things there. Um, and I like the sushi there. Um, I know if I go to like Fred Meyers or something, I can get more sushi for the same price. But Fred Meyer, it's Fred Meyer staff, Fred Meyer's making the sushi. At this place, it is like just a little mom and pop um, mini Asian restaurant kind of thing, you know, like a hole in the wall little Asian place. Like how you see at the mall, how they have like different restaurants in it. They have this, um, it's called Sushi Co. Then they have Subway. Then they have the Ralph's um, fried foods and stuff. So they have little restaurants, little different restaurants in there. Trash. And so, I mean, I get it. It's about the same price as you would pay if you went to um, like one of those like sushi go round places. And the sushi is amazing. So I don't mind at all. Um, Comment down below your favorite kind of sushi. I don't have a favorite kind. I like it all. Um, but my favorite, honestly, honestly, my favorite place to go is Tuna Pokey. Um, and it is attached to the Fred Myers where I live. And that bowl is amazing. You pay $15, but you get five scoops of sushi on it with this delicious sauce and then you can have a bunch of mix-ins. So I think it's worth it, especially for good sushi. Like, to find good sushi, it is so worth it. Um, super random rant, like I don't even, whatever. Um, woo. So what YouTubers are y'all watching lately? Like, I have not, I need to, I need to expand because my YouTubers are not producing like I don't want to say enough content because they are producing a lot of content but I also watch a lot of content because I don't have cable so I end up watching a lot of their videos over and over and over and over again and I need some new youtubers um, if y'all haven't checked out Jackie Ina y'all should um, she is an amazing youtuber and she is an advocate for people of color um, and she's very real. I adore her. Um, I still enjoy Thrift Thick, aka Cassie, um, or Cassie, aka Thrift Thick, one of the two. She is an awesome YouTuber. She gets a lot of hate, and I, I don't know why. Is it because she's a little, a little fluffy? If that's the case, screw you guys. Like, she has a lot of fun. Yes, she does this for her job, um, but... Who cares? She went to art school. Ooh. She has her master's in art. I don't think it's art history, but something art. And so basically she's doing what she went to school for. She's creating art. She does makeup. She's not a beauty guru. <coughs> Excuse me. So she gets a lot of people who hate on her because when she zooms in super close, her foundation is not super flawlessly blended out. Um, and you know what? And honestly, I have made comments before that sometimes it does drive me nuts. But, you know what? I bet if I had a camera that zoomed in like hers, my foundation wouldn't be blended in, blend, blended in perfectly. Um, you know, we're not makeup artists. We just have fun. Like today, you know, just... No makeup, makeup, no foundation today, but I think I look good. Um, I'm not trying to put foundation on this because it is, it, the scab keeps ripping off, so it's a little open, so I'm not trying to put foundation on that, so 
you know, I will still do a little makeup. I don't want to do eyeshadow today, but I did want to put on lashes because I love me some lashes. Girl, when I go to Ulta tomorrow, I am going to, uh, I'm going to check some of their uh, Eyelore lashes and some of their lashes and lash books out and stuff. Um, I can't wear them to work, but I can wear them outside of work. I mean, I won't put them on after I get off of work because I don't really do a whole lot. I just do homework or work on the house or um, sometimes just nap. But, you know, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, you know, I'm doing house, housey stuff. So, every once in a while, um, you know, maybe I'll throw a little something on. I thought about, because I've seen some YouTubers do a get ready with me late at night, even though they're not going anywhere. But just, you know, like a get ready with me so you sit down and, and talk to them and, and do the makeup. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe if I get bored, I don't know, anytime soon I'll be bored because this school is crazy. Um, but it's a lot of fun. And then Thanksgiving is coming up. I have to work. And I have to work the day after, so that sucks. But I'm gonna get holiday pay, so that does not suck. It's like basically free overtime just for going to work on my regular shift, so I am down for that. Um, I need to make a serious effort on a budget and forcing myself to stick with that budget because I'm terrible at that. Speed limit, please. I um, oh, my camera base keeps moving. New Year's coming up, and things need to get a little bit more under control, which is fine. I did a lot of up and down, up and down this year, and I mean, that's okay, but it's time to get things under control. a little bit more free time because come January date nights are gonna come to a halt um, mostly because he's leaving for school and it's gonna suck um, so I might try to do more overtime I mean the more overtime I do I, I need to I, I just I need to make a plan and I need to stick with it I need to force myself to stick with it because sometimes my plan goes a little awry because I do the overtime and then I spend that overtime money on shiny things for myself or new clothes. Look at this cute little rose shirt. It is leggings material. It is so comfortable. I normally wear a large or extra large in the classic tee and that is that is a nice form fitting and I don't feel too horrible in it but this was a black and purple leggings material 2x classic it's super loose it's kind of baggy I'm super comfortable today like look at my adorable scarf I got from um, a gal who makes them um, mini me and mom I'm gonna try to remember to uh, link her Facebook in my description box she does mommy and me sets she does daddy and me sets she does you know scarves she does hats she does shirts she is an entrepreneur and her stuff's amazing and they're decent prices I paid 20 bucks for two infinity scarves mommy and me set and a, a handmade hair bow hair clip um, the kids sets are 10 uh, well and you can get a, a child set where it's just a child infinity scarf and a hair a handmade hair bow and these are all handmade um, for for ten dollars um, and usually like four she tries to you know four, four dollars for shipping she tries to get as much into a, a mailer like I bought a bunch of stuff and she was able to get it all shipped together for four dollars so thank you girl thank you Erica okay um, yeah Erica really nice to talk to as well um, and just a super sweet lady. Um, I'm gonna be a little early for my meeting, that's fine. I had time to kill. I'm actually not tired, which I am shocked that I am not tired because 
Normally, I'm exhausted after my overtimes. Um, but I'm not today. Maybe it hit me later. I mean, I did sleep in until 7. Hello, double chin. Driving a little slow because I'm in behind a semi. That's okay. I have my hair appointment next month to get my roots redone, and I think I'm gonna ask them to do it a little lighter, a little bit more, a little more platinum in there, a little more platinum, -y, a little more gray. We'll see. Um, I'm thinking that's what I want to do. My hair's getting so long. I'm so excited. I miss my long hair. McDonald's right here. I don't know. Should pay and a Cinnabon and a Subway. Oh, I didn't know it was McDonald's right here. Would have got me some McDonald's, some French fries. Oh my gosh, McDonald's French fries are the best warm, but they suck cold. Burger King French fries because they're so thick and potatoey are great to reheat. Um, but I prefer fresh McDonald's French fries because I don't think Burger King me cook them long enough so they're still a little potatoey. Um I have another performance coming up. I gotta pick music. I'm, I'm almost to my meeting. Oh it's so much better. Okay so I got my silver out shampoo because it's supposed to um, help take the brassiness out of my hair and if you don't think that silver shampoo makes a difference, and you think, why are they having me buy this special shampoo to use a couple times a week? The difference in my hair is night and day. Like, it was slowly all becoming brassy, and all my platinum-y, really light highlights were disappearing, and now... Now they're coming back. My highlights are coming back to life. So your hairstylist does not always recommend stuff that you don't need. Sometimes they recommend stuff you definitely need because now my, my hair doesn't look like box orange blonde. I actually look like I went and had it professionally done with some good highlights. So I feel like I'm rambling. So I'm almost to my destination. Um, so. Um, I hope that you guys watched my uh, lip cream stain video. I will set a go over there. Um, and I'll try to remember to link it down below. And I have, you know, my recent get ready with me where I try out a new um, uh, 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 primer. Um, I've been better. I've been better about adding my videos to the description box, you guys. All right. So, um, I'm, you know, I got a couple of previous videos for you guys to check out. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you know, I'm sorry. I enjoy car vlogging, having a conversation. So, you know, car rides don't feel as lonely. So, um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.